Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with Wade Middleton. We're taking a sneak peek at Liz Dugan's hunt. Liz works for Cabela's and came out to deer camp to see if she could take a deer for the first time with her bow. So we invited her out. I mean, it was a no-brainer. Somebody's expressing an interest. They're wanting to learn more, and we, we had access during that time. We had a hole in our schedule to be able to allow her to come in. So it was like, hey, if you can come out, we'd love to have you. It's always fun to see you. Come out and go bow hunting. So Wade and Liz ventured out one afternoon to a little known spot called the Killing Tree. Yeah, so I was asking Wade if he has names for his spots, and he said he did. And so well, what is the name of this one? He said the Killing Tree. He's like, because that's exactly what it is. So I was, it was pretty promising based on that. The first group that came in, a lot of does and some smaller bucks. And then as it got darker and more into the evening, it, the bigger bucks came in to the point where there were probably two at one time that I probably could have taken, but none of them were in like great range. And there was one off in the distance that Wade had caught, and I had saw it a while back, but I didn't think it ever made it over, but it did. Good shot. I think it's perfect in the heart. I think it's perfect okay. in the heart. <laughs> Do you think so? <laughs> so? I think it's perfect in the heart. Ooh, talk about heart. <laughs> you always like, I'm going to jump out of my chest. <sighs> I'll tell you right now. Oof. I was sitting over here. I didn't think he was coming back around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. You know, we, we came back, we ate, we watched the footage. Um, after seeing the footage, I thought, ah, it's not as perfect as I thought. It's back a little bit, maybe a little low. We ate, gave that deer a lot of time, rain's coming in, made the decision to go out and start tracking in the dark, you know, for it. And we're on our hands and knees, lights are digging around. You can see the track on the, on the GPS. We're working back and forth in there. And, the deer kind of goes down into this little bedding area that we basically never go in and then he come back up out of it and he's on the edge of a Sinisa flat and you can imagine the thoughts in the team's mind and I, I know what Liz is going through that there's nothing that I'm going to say that's going to be, you know, that's going to clear anything up. Hold right there, son. Yeah, she can see it shining. Hmm? Hmm? It's just not there. Yeah. 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 Will Liz and the crew recover her deer? Well, stay tuned next season and find out here on the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Oh, he's starting to bleed here. Okay. He's pouring now. Okay. All through there, Liz. Okay. Now I'm getting really nervous. 